All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to our apostles. Shalaki, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who still rule well. And our peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this truth and sincerity. Okay, I'm out um, on my break real quick. And I just want to make a quick video for edification's sake. Keep this vibration out there. And I um, just want to do a quick sit down on the... Uh, On um, concerning the Lord is a so-called black man, and he is coming back to judge this kingdom, okay, which scripturally is called Babylon the Great, aka also known as the, uh, the daughter of Babylon, and as we know it. America and he is coming back yeah which his name is Yahweh Shai he is coming back to to judge this kingdom okay but my primary focus is going to be on the Lord being a so called black man Okay. Bear with me for a second, Akim. Abkusha. And uh. This is. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 10. I'm going to start at verse... I'm going to start at verse, at verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed, clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of... U Fez face. His body also was like the burial. Okay. And his face was the appearance of lightning. Okay, so uh they say the scripture saying in verse six, his body was like the appearance of burial. That was what he had on, okay? And his Face was like the appearance of lightning, because scripture say that wisdom maketh a, 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 a man's face to to shine. Okay, when uh, Moses came down from the mountain, his face was like it was a uh, it was a uh, he had a, a he had an aura around him, you know, and it was it was that wisdom. Uh. So, continuing on, it says for in verse 6, And his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like the color of polished brass. Okay, so polished brass, you know, that, that, that proves that the Lord was a, was a, is a so-called black man. You know, because okay, continuing on in his voice of his word, you know, and 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 in the voice of his words, like the voice of a multitude. Okay, because and the reason why I'm bringing this out, like I said, this is for edification, because there is a lie going around. 
uh, uh, that that has been spread throughout the the the, the earth, saying that the the, the the Lord is a so-called white man, which is a damn lie. All right. Um. In fact, he um they depict him as this guy named Caesar Borgia or Cesare Cesar Borgia which this guy was a uh, uh, he was a uh, he was a uh, he committed he, he committed incest with his sister he he uh he murdered his 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 his, his brother and it is these things like and and and, and the list goes on you know he, he was a homosexual um, and the list go, go, goes on, man, and because this guy was a wicked individual, and we're not just talking about anybody right here. We're talking about the lies that were spoken of about the man who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. They basically try to depict him as a a wicked individual. They basically try to uh, put uh, a, 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 a real life Edomite, which which are so called white people today. They try to put a a wicked Edomite who committed all sorts of sins in the seat of our Messiah. Which his real name is Yahweh Shai, and that is that is uh, and those people who have done that are gonna have to answer to that, because when our Lord comes back, he's he's he's, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna bring destruction, okay, and rightfully so, and th and they're not only gonna have to answer to to that, but they're gonna have to answer to uh, uh, a bunch of other things, man. Okay, but I want to keep this short and sweet, so I can uh jump into my next video. Um, don't know what it's gonna be about. Um, pro it's, pro it's, pro it's probably gonna be about um NATO and the EU and America's allies turning on America. So stay tuned. Um, cause I have this article, I'm not really going to go into it, but anyways, but I'm going to show you the, the title cause this title speaks for itself and, um, and we, we're going to jump into prophecy for, uh, you know, we're going to jump a little bit into prophecy. So with that, this is the brother Bashar. I like to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. For giving me the spirit to do this video. Peace and salutations, um, double honest tower or apostles of Great Millstone, who's the, 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 the elders of Great Millstone, the leaders of Israel who still rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole full elect. Shalom. Sh 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 sh